Summer's hot and winter's cold Time will fly, that's how it goes Oh, it's magic in the air You're coming home and waiting there Friends, we greet you in the blessed name of our Lord this day as we come to witness the union of Matt and Candon. To be here today, Candon, with you and Matt is more special than words can express. And in this beautiful place, I mean, what a unique wedding. The rain's coming down, you can smell the woods, and you two are gonna pledge your lives together. I know you have a little family. That little boy is absolutely gorgeous. And in the presence of these witnesses, the people that love you, that you hold and protect this holy moment of the commitments that you make in this hour. So may you both in each other and in your faith in God, find all of the joy and the happiness that we all wish for you. And may God, God bless you. You know, the symbolism, the purity of gold or platinum or palladium shows the purity in marriage. The continuous circle with no end shows the permanence in marriage. And so Matt, do you give this ring as a pledge that you'll perform the vows and the commitments that you make in this hour? I do. And you may place that on Candon's finger. And Candon, do you give this ring as a pledge that you'll perform the vows and the commitments that you make in this hour? I do. Then you may put that on Matt's finger. God, we pray your blessings on these two amazing people, on Matt and Candon, and through every season in marriage, God, that you give them the strength to grow as a couple. In Jesus' name, amen. Therefore, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss the bride. Matthew, all of my dreams came true when I met and fell in love with you, but it wasn't actually falling at all. It was like walking through a door and finally knowing your home. Not many people can truly say they married the love of their life, 
but I can. And you still to this day give me butterflies. In you, I found a partner in life, a lover, a friend, a safe place, and most importantly, myself. In you, I found someone who supports me, who inspires me, who respects and honors me, and that is the greatest gift anyone could ask for in a partner. I love you for always making me feel loved and for choosing me to build our beautiful life together. I love you for giving us our beautiful son and for making sure we have the best possible life. I love you for making me strive to be the best version of myself for not only you, but for our family. I once read, marriage isn't I promise to love you until I stop loving you. It's I promise to make a conscious decision to continue to love you even when it's hard because I'm aware that no one is perfect, but you are worth it. I cannot promise I will always be the perfect wife, but I promise to love you through the good times and the bad, to choose our love every single day. I promise to always fight with you and for you, never against you. I promise to always be your biggest fan, confidant and best friend. I promise to remember we are not perfect, only perfect for each other. I promise to always choose you because I never want to live a single day without you by my side. You are my dearest friend, my deepest love, and the best of me. I'm so proud that today I become your wife. I love you. Cannon, somewhere between drinking wine together in a bubble bath, after a long day of rafting down the Truckee River, and running around the hotel grounds in Cancun, soaked from a torrential downfall like two young kids playing in the rain, I knew you were the one I wanted to share all of life's adventures with. When I think of fairy tales, I think of us sleeping in the bed of my truck under the Milky Way in the Alabama hills when only knowing each other a few short weeks. I think of us sunbathing on big boulders next to the crystal blue waters of Lake Tahoe, sipping on beers and enjoying life. I think of us sleeping in an old covered western wagon next to a creek in the rain without a care in the world. I think about a safari tent nestled under the towering redwoods and us sitting around a campfire, not wanting the night to end. I think about a small cabin in the mountains with music blasting and two people falling in love dancing around like fools. I think about you and I think about how all of these small moments led to where we are now. You are my fairy tale. Today we start a new chapter in our lives and I couldn't be more proud to finally call you my wife. We have created a beautiful life together and have brought the most perfect baby boy into this world. I couldn't have asked for a better life partner and mother to my child. I truly can't wait to make even more memories together as husband and wife. Today I vow to be the best husband to you and father to Grayland. I vow to love, honor, and cherish you both till death do us part. I love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. Let's I'd like to welcome everyone who made this journey. This, the make it up here was crazy. And everybody did tremendous to try and get up here. That was just crazy. But we're here. Matt and Cannon's dream was to get married in the mountains. And here we are. It's incredibly beautiful. A little weather, but it won't stop us from celebrating the most important day of their lives. A father and daughter relationship is second to none. Our relationship, secret jokes, sense of humor, 
And I'm so proud of Candon. You become such an incredible mom, adult, and now a wife. Matt, you treated her incredible. Took care of her. It's funny because Matt and I are more friends than we are son-in-law and father-in-law. Thank you for making my daughter happy. Thank you for giving us Graylin. Thank you, friends, family, for everybody coming and celebrating. This is amazing. Let's have a toast to two incredible people. Cheers. Life can change in a blink of an eye in ways you'd never expect. Never say never. Now, marriage is not easy, and it really shouldn't be. If you're not challenged or changed by marriage, something's wrong. And raising kids definitely is not easy. If you don't believe me, wait till the second one comes. That's God's little trick up his sleeve. Marriage and raising a family are two of the hardest things in life, but the two most rewarding. Being selfless is key. The love you two share is priceless. And this union is proof that you both understand that. Good times and bad, the tears and the laughter, the pain and joy, the growth together and the oneness you experience with the ones you love. There's no way to describe it. You just have to experience it yourself. Candon, thank you for loving my brother and giving him a chance to experience having someone always by his side in life and the joys of having a family. Matt, thank you for being my brother I never had, my best friend, and I wish you both nothing but love and happiness for many years to come. Congratulations. Rather than sharing said stories and memories, I'd like to focus on one of my favorite qualities of Candon's, her ability to love. This girl wears her heart on her sleeve and truly sees the best in everyone. In all of the years that I've known Candon, all she has wanted is to love and be loved. This strength to love and be loved not only makes her an incredible human and friend, but it led her to her one and only Matt. Matt, thank you for, for proving to Candon that her ability to love and be loved has always been worth it because it led her to you. You have shown her what it's like to feel fully seen, heard, loved, and valued. She deserves the world, and you give her that. I love you guys so much. Cheers! Cheers.